Jesus is alive. Today is a wonderful day of celebration. It's called Easter Resurrection Sunday. And although the term Easter is a pagan term, it is used to represent the day that Jesus raised from the dead. It's a time for families to get together and enjoy each other's company. It is a day, more importantly, a day of celebration. A day to celebrate life, eternal life. Today, all across this land, people will dress up in new clothes, as Sister Portia said on the video, and go to church many for the first and some for the last time this year. They say it because it is Easter Sunday, but if you truly ask them what this day is all about, many are unable to tell you. Some will say it's about the Easter Bunny. Some will say it's about Easter eggs and colored eggs and marshmallows and jelly beans. Some will even say that this is the day Jesus was raised from the dead, but really don't understand the importance of Jesus being raised from the dead. And this weekend, the Jewish faith commemorates the Passover. And yet, just this past week, we're hearing about the clashings of the Israelite police and the Palestinians on the streets of Jerusalem at the Passover celebration. What has changed? When the children of Israel were in captivity in Egypt and Moses was told to tell Pharaoh to let his people go, there were 10 plagues that came upon Egypt. The tenth plague was the death of the firstborn of all creatures. The children of Israel were told to kill a lamb and place the blood of the lamb on the doorpost and on the mantle of the floor. And when the deaf angel came by, the angel would see the blood and he would pass over the children of Israel. As long as they were under the blood. Somebody say under the blood. As long as they stayed under the blood, they didn't have to fear death. They didn't have to fear the Egyptians. They didn't have to fear anything as long as they stayed under the blood. For the Christian faith, this is the weekend that commemorates the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It was on this week some 2,000 years ago that Jesus, the only begotten of God, was beaten and crucified on Calvary's cross. He shed the blood for you and for me so that the wrath of God will pass over as long as we stayed under the blood. Mm -hmm. And on this past Friday night, we celebrated what we call Good Friday. Uh It's commemorated as the day Jesus died. On Good Friday, Jesus was beaten all night long. They pulled hairs from his beard. They punched him in the face. They spit on him. And then they dragged him out into the open courtyard, and, and there he was tied to a whipping post. And every time that whip came against his flesh, it would tear and rip from his body. But he never said a mumbling word. He endured the beating because he looked down through 42 generations and saw you and me. And every time that whip came across his back, I like to believe, old uh, deacons, that he said that one is for Mary Hagin. And that one is for you and you and I. I. I like to believe he said, I'm shedding my blood so the wrath of God will pass over you and all you have to do is stay under the blood. Can I get some help in here this morning? Uh, After they beat him all night long, they pulled hairs out of his beard and put a a crown of thorns on his head. They placed him on his shoulders, the cross beam of the cross weighing about 80 pounds and they made him carry it up Golgotha's hill. And every time he stumbled from the weight of the cross, he was kicked and beaten even more. Thank God for Simon of Serene that for a moment was able to give Jesus a little rest. With his back bloody and open from the flesh being ripped from it, they laid him on the ground and nailed him to the cross. It is said that his hands and his feet began to draw up. But at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the Bible says he gave up the ghost. Uh, They're on Calvary's cross. Jesus, the only begotten son, died. But I stopped by here this morning to tell somebody that this is not how the story ends. Come on, somebody. Now, if that was the end of the story, we would be satisfied in getting dressed up and coming out to church on Easter Sunday morning. But however, that's not his story. Come on, somebody. We don't celebrate this day because Jesus died. Jesus didn't die. He is not dead. I I remember the words of 
the mighty clouds of joy and said, if God is dead, what makes the flowers bloom? If God is dead, what makes summer come in June? If God is dead, who's listening and who answers prayer? If God is dead, who mends a broken heart? If God is dead, who keeps night from day? If God is dead, who can tell me what his body lies? I'm glad to know. I'm so glad to know that he lives, he lives, he lives. And he makes my life worth living because he lives. When he died on Calvary's cross, I believe that the cohorts of hell, uh, Reverend Webb, began to rejoice. No doubt death said, I got the victory. No doubt the grave said, I'll hold him here. No doubt the devil said, see, I'm the greatest. Uh -huh. But suddenly the earth began to shake. Uh -huh. The grave lost its grip. Walked in, in walked Jesus. When the gates of hell flew open, he looked at death right in the face and said, oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? He looked at the devil and took the keys of death and hell from him and said, all power, all power in heaven and earth is in my hands. And then he rose from the dead. The Bible said he led the captives captive. He freed them from the stronghold of Satan because Jesus is not dead. He is risen. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Jesus is alive. But then the story went on to say that Mary and the others went to the tomb looking for Jesus. Looking for Jesus. And the angel of the Lord said unto them, why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Oh, Minister Travis, he said, today folk are still searching among the dead for the living. Can, can I make it plain here? They're searching in the tombs of alcohol and drugs. They're searching in the tomb of illicit sexual activity. They're searching for the living God, but are unable to find him because they're looking in all the wrong places. But I'm here today to tell you, why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not there. He is not dead. He is risen from the grave. Can I talk to somebody in here today and out there in the meeting this morning? Because Jesus is risen, you don't have to be strung out on drugs. Because Jesus is risen, you don't have to try to depend upon the bottle. Because Jesus is risen, you don't have to shoot up. You don't have to try to commit suicide. Jesus is alive. And because he's alive, you don't have to sell yourself. Well, you don't have to get hooked on crack. Well, you don't have to be afraid. Well, because he's risen, you don't have to be bound no longer. Uh -huh. You don't have to beat yourself down for the mistakes that you made. Can I get some help? Well, you don't have to accept the lies that the devil tells you. Well, he is risen. Yeah. You don't have to be abused. You don't have to be lost. Yeah. You don't have to look at the dead things of life. Yeah. Because he is risen, you don't have to be confused about your identity. Because he is risen, you can say, I am delivered, I am healed, and I have been set free. Because he is risen, he holds my hand. I have joy, unspeakable joy. Because he is risen, I can walk in victory. I can have hope for tomorrow. Regardless of what trials may come on tomorrow and week later, no matter what's going on in the world today, because he lives, we have the victory. Victory is my name. Come on, somebody. Victory is my name because he's risen. I know he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me, oh, he, I am his own. Because he's risen, I can be whatever I want to be because with Christ, all things are possible. Because because he's risen, I am no longer guilty. I am not a failure. Even if I failed in the past, I'm not a failure. Because he's risen, I can reach the heights that one time was impossible for me to reach. See, God is trying to tell us something this morning. We are more than a conqueror. We can break the strongholds that once held us down. Because, thank God, God is alive. I know my prayers avail. I know I am somebody. I am redeemed out of the hand of the devil because he lives. He's risen. My sins are forgiven. Your sins are cleansed because he's risen. And you can say it didn't work. I know I can make it. Do I have some help in here? Ah, because he's risen. 
You can say, I understand my purpose. I can reach my destiny because he's risen every day. is sweeter than the day before. Oh, because he's risen, I can give him the praise. That's why I can walk around with my head hung high and saying, God sent his son and they called him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. And an empty grave is there just because he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Just because he lives, as I get ready to take my seat. Because Jesus is alive. You don't have to search the tombs for the dead things. You don't have to be strung out for dead things. You don't have to feel as though you lost your mind. You don't have to need to commit suicide. Because when he rose from the dead, yeah. all power in heaven and earth was in his hands. Because he rose from the dead, you have the victory. You might be going through a situation in your life right now, and it seems as though everything is dead. But I stop by to tell you, today is Resurrection Sunday. Today is he got up with all power in his hand, and he will turn your life around. He will give your garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. He will give you beauty for the ashes of your life. He will give you the all of joy and the cry of all for moaning. Don't you cry no more. I don't know who I'm talking to, but stop crying. Jesus is alive. I serve a risen God. He is the world today. I see his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always there. He lives. He lives. Christ lives today. You ask me how I know. He lives. He lives. He lives. He lives. He lives. Yes. 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 He lives. Life is worth the living. All because he lives. And if you believe that you stand to your feet. He lives. Christ lives. Right.